I hate to break it to you, Wolfgang Mains, and maybe perhaps those looking for a better reason to play the strongman nowadays, but your third of the pizza that is this skill tree update is incredibly lackluster. Now that doesn't mean it's bad, mind, it's just not very nuanced like Woody's here, and I think you can even tell that by just looking at the branches themselves. There are less perks to pick, and the bulk of it just buffs the buffs if you know what I mean. I will give him this, however, there is no need to unlock previous skills to back into the affinity trees there, and that is very unique compared to the others, and can make for a very strong, strong man. So let's discuss. After we get to talking about the more interesting bits, like Wolfgang's coaching whistle here, made on the very cheap with flint and rope, this infinite use item does two things for us. Raise the damages of all followers nearby, while also raising the sanities of players close to Wolfgang as well. The thing is though, both of these things are not immediate and or over time as they maybe should be, and they can only occur when Wolfgang is in his quote unquote normal state here. The follower mechanic is rather decent, even if it is slow to coach them up, as it's a 50% increase in damage to every single one of them, which can obviously stack up nicely, but the sanity thing is just weird to me. It seemingly takes forever for the guy to say a single line about coaching people up, although it could come down to just how many players and followers are nearby mind, but even still, it's only a whopping 5 sanity a pop sort of deal. I don't know, folks. Having the one actually kind of cool addition be, well, this is kind of disappointing in my opinion. As let's face it, the rest of the skills are just there to make an already quote unquote hold F and win character even more bonkers. And while I do actually appreciate the fun quality of life tweak that has his gyms automatically doing the work for us, it's not that hard of a mechanic to do ourselves for Pete's sake. But I digress. A little bit that is. As here I was thinking that his mightiness over overcharge mechanic was going to mean more for his hunger drain, his stats overall, etc, only for it to just be that. More mightiness for free essentially. Heck, I don't even think it drains that much faster either as you can see. Do note though, that we must use a gym to not only reach these mightiness thresholds, but to maintain them as well. The moment Wolf gets over 100 mightiness, no other lifting mechanics or work will ever raise his mightiness ever again. Now that is actually something Thing I do enjoy the idea of. To continue though, that hidden crit chance that Wolf has when he's working sees him offering us a whopping 1% chance to instantly fell trees, mine boulders, and hammer stuff, but it can now be raised up to 5, 10, and even 15%, and you know, that's actually kind of a big deal, honestly. But moving on to what could have been a bigger deal, but really hasn't turned out to mean much of anything right now, Wolfgang's new dumbbells. Therm bells will cost a a ton of rocks, some flint, and an entire pickaxe for an item that is actually more efficient at lifting over the initial dumbbell, however it's still only going to provide the same mindness per lifts overall, and yes, while it isn't working at the moment, the thing is going to be a literal thermal stone, so do with that as you please. The fire and ice bells will cost their respective gems, some thule sight even, and twigs, all the while giving us similar lifts to that of the OG gem bell itself, but at far less use uses as you can see, which is kind of surprising. All that said though, while they don't use their abilities when used as a weapon for some reason, they do actually have abilities and explode into their respective elements when thrown, but all I can ask with this is what in God's name were you thinking, Clay? Wolfgang is now the ultimate griefer, accidental or otherwise, as one click means, well, this. Still, I do enjoy the fact that the ice bell can hit multiple things at once, so I do actually see the potential. But before we move on to the straight up damage buffs, let us not forget the straight up damage buffs to the thrown dumbbells themselves. The first perk marks a 50% increase to the whole shindig, while completing the full tree gives a hefty 2 times damage overall. Something that can absolutely be pretty powerful, but dumbbell throwing has always been a bit gimmicky honestly, because who in their right mind needs and is even using durability for 170 damage at range with these things. I don't know, but I do know that it's time to showcase exactly what I meant all the way back at the start of this video as nothing gives off the power creep vibe that we're all feeling more than Wolfgang's planar damage tree. You can put as many points into this thing as you wish, but the end results are going to be the exact same. A flat damage increase to all planar weapons 
no matter what, just as long as Wolfgang is mighty, of course. Take the Bright Shade Sword, for example, and its built-in 30 planar damage. With Wolfgang's full perk tree unlocked, that jumps to 55 damage a hit on top of the thing's base 38 damage, which gets increased to 76 because the guy is mighty. Now couple that with the helmet for an additional 10%, as you saw, and then put it all together against the Shadow Align thing for yet another 10% increase, and then things get crazy. But watch this, his affinities can give him up to 30% more damage to either Shadow or Lunar Base mobs, regardless of Planar. Meaning that if we do put all of this together now, one way or another, Wolfgang is going to be able to reach upwards of 201 damage per hit with just two pieces of kit and none of Wily Spices and or Electrical Damage modifiers in play. Oh yes, folks broken like beyond broken and essentially free mind as remember how at the start i said that wolfgang's affinities are available immediately unlike the others oh yes have fun but you know the funny thing about this video we're still not done yet so while also broken perhaps wolfgang has a skill that gives him a 10 percent speed boost when he's normal so that's nice i guess but wow nothing like ending with the bang am i right but there you have it, everyone a full breakdown of wolfgang's newest skill tree and all the power it brings to the table and the constant in Don't Start Together's newest beta updates. And while my tone throughout this likely gave off a somewhat demeaning nature, I am honestly just only sad that they went full power on him instead of throwing in a few fun things. That's all. Where is the downside to overcharging mightiness? What about touching on his actual work efficiencies instead of that crit chat nonsense that only deals with mightiness? Why are we only having perks? that only happen if he's mighty? Could we have just made him less of a scaredy cat at the end of the day? I don't know, but here we are, folks. Thanks for watching. Well, wish it to all two down and one to go, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.